Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com and something that I always try to do for you guys is give you the best hockey instruction that I can and the best video quality. So something that I want to do uh, moving forward in my channel is meet with other hockey instructors because obviously there's lots of really smart hockey instructors out there that know a lot about hockey so I want to draw from other people and provide that on my channel. So it's not just me talking all the time, you can learn from uh, you know pro shooting coaches, uh, NHL uh, skating coaches and things along that line. The problem is that I want to upgrade my video equipment first so I can always give you guys the best uh, quality videos. So what I've been doing lately is saving up to buy a new camera. I thought a great way for me to be able to raise a bit of money and also help you guys is to offer shooting analysis. So this is something that I've been doing with kids that I work with privately, uh, working with kids all the way from minor hockey up to AAA. And what I do is I take a video of their shots I do a video analysis, I break down uh, a few things that they could work on in their shot and then I send them that link and I do a side-by-side -side analysis with pro shooters as well, so NHL uh, players. So that's something that I thought I could offer on my website. Uh, it'll help you guys because you can tell someone something over and over, but until they actually see it, they don't really get it or it, it at least helps them get it a little bit better. So you guys will be taking a video of your shot. You're going to send it to me, I'm going to do a video breakdown, I'm going to mark up the video, I'm going to show you little things that you can do to tweak your shot, I'm going to send it back to you, and uh, you guys hopefully will, will be able to improve your shot a lot faster than you normally would just shooting by yourself without any feedback. So that's what I want to offer you guys, one-on-one -on -one feedback, and to give you an idea of what you're going to get, I'm just going to do a little markup of myself uh, so you guys can see how it's going to look. So let's go take a look at that video right now. Okay, so I'll get started with the video analysis here and uh, you notice how the camera is facing straight at the body so when you guys are submitting your videos record it so I can see your body and that'll help me break down uh, all the mechanics of your shot so let's get started okay so this is uh, good first thing looking at the target so that's gonna help you with your accuracy so I like to see that let's continue through the shot here so with the backswing first alright so let's rewind that A few things I notice so start right there this top hand it's right along the hip uh, you want to get those hands away from your body. It just helps you get more power, helps you get more leverage, and flex the stick better. What happens here is with this top hand right against the hip, it's going to cause you to rotate that stick around your body. What the pro players do, what the good shooters do, is they bring the blade of the stick up and then down, and they basically keep it um, parallel with their body like that, whereas this one is going to be rotating behind your back, and that's because the top hand is right up against the hip. So let's take a look at that right there. See how it comes behind you? It's like a golf swing. We don't let, want that. A few other things I noticed. Uh, your hands, not far enough apart. You want that uh, bottom hand basically right in the middle of the uh, stick. And it can be even a little bit further down the shaft, but at least to the middle so you can get more flex out of that stick and more power. Also, uh, legs, not really bent. You want a little bit of a bend in your knees so you can really step in and get that weight transfer. So let's continue through the shot here. So that's a golf swing, uh, not that great for power. And then for the downswing, let's see. All right, so right here you can see the uh, stick and the blade is basically hitting the puck. What you want to do is actually come down on a slight angle, hit behind the puck, and uh, the reason that we're not getting that is because of the hand location. So it's causing the stick to come straight down and hit the puck versus on an angle. So I'm just going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison and I'll show you uh, how a pro shoots. Here's a side-by-side -side analysis with a pro player. This is Shane Doan when he played with the Phoenix Coyotes. So let's uh, take a look here. First things you notice, looking at the target, so that's good. Uh, hands are far apart, so that middle or that bottom hand is about the middle of the shaft. He's got a nice wide stance, knees are bent so you can get that weight transfer uh, compared to this backswing here. Uh, like I said, a uh, hand too close to the body, Bottom hand is not far enough down, no knee bend, and uh, narrow stance. So then let's uh, continue up. So Shane, in the backswing, doesn't bring the uh, stick behind his head. You can see the blade of the stick basically comes up like this, and then straight down. So then uh, let's look at the downswing and the contact point. So right there, uh, you'll notice that um, the blade, or the stick, comes down an angle, you can really push through with that bottom hand to flex that stick, contacting the ice a little bit behind the puck, and look at that back leg. Almost fully extended, getting a lot of power from those legs. And you can see the, well, let's rewind a little bit here. So you can see the movement of his body, so he can get 
all that weight, his movement is going to come from here and then follow through to there. So watch this. Right, really pushing, getting all of his weight into the shot, pushing through the shot, right? And then let's take a look at your downswing here. So pucks behind the body with the golf swing, coming down, not getting any power from the stick. You're just hitting it straight. You're just hitting the puck, so i to work on that. And that uh, no weight transfer here, no leg movement, no, no power from that back leg. So those are a few things to work on. So what I'd like to see, um, get that hand closer to the middle of the shaft, bend those legs a bit more, really push off with that back leg. And uh, that's something you can start working on. And uh, let me know how that feels. Get back to me and uh, we'll go from there. All right, that video should give you guys a good idea of what you're gonna get. I wanna provide a lot of value to you guys. So I'm really hoping that this will help you with your shots, especially for the people who want that one-on-one -on -one feedback on their shot. And they don't really have a coach or they, the coach doesn't have time to look at them one-on-one. -on -one. So I figure uh, working with a shooting coach one-on-one -on -one, cost between $75 to $100. I'm only charging $20 for this. Probably takes me about an hour to download the video, do the markup, review it, uh, do the side-by-side -side analysis, upload it again, and send it to you guys. So uh, for about an hour, I figure $20 is a good price. So that's all I'm charging is $20. And it's something that I want to help you guys without trying to get rich off of it. I just want to raise enough money so I can get a new camera and then uh, get better videos to you guys. So thanks a lot for checking out the videos. If you would like to take part in the service, if you want to send me your shot and have me do a review of it and analysis, there's a link in the video description. Click on that link, you can find out more and we can get started. Thanks for that guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the videos. Uh, in the video you can introduce yourself, you can tell me what position you play, uh, what you want to work on, and then uh, do your shots and we'll take it from there. So thanks a lot guys, looking forward to seeing your videos.